To calculate the area of a sector, first we need to know the area of the full circle, as a sector is effectively just a fraction of the full circle, a little cut out of it. So a full circle is pi r squared. And as I just said, a sector is effectively a fraction of the full circle. A full circle has 360 degrees. So then you just put the angle, in this case it would be 82, over 360 and times by the total area. So this is the formula for the area of a sector. You take the angle, put it over 360 and then times by the total area of the circle. For this sector specifically, it's 82 degrees and has a radius of 12 centimeters. So subbing those in, you'd put 82 on the top over 360 times by pi times by 12 squared. You can just sit this in your calculator now and this gives you 103.04. And this is an area, the radius was measured in centimeters, so this will be centimeters squared. So this is the correct area for this sector to two decimal places. The area of a segment is a little bit trickier. The segment is effectively the end of a sector. So if we can calculate the area of the sector, then take away this triangle here, that will give us the segment. So recall the area of a sector was x, where x is the angle, over 360 times pi r squared. And then, in this case for the triangle, we're going to have to find the, the area. So that's going to use a half AB sine C. Okay, so we're doing area of the sector take away area of the triangle. And that will leave us with the area of the segment. So subbing some values in here, let's first tackle the area of the sector. Well, we know the angle is 82 over 360 times by pi r squared, where r is 12. Then we're taking away the area of this triangle, <clears throat> which is a half AB. So A and B are both going to be the radius. So we can just put 12 squared because 12 times 12 is just the same as 12 squared times by sine C, where C is the angle. So in this case, sine 82. You can stick all of this in your calculator and this will give you 31.74 centimeters squared. The reason it's centimeters squared is again, it's an area and our radius was measured in centimeters. Arc length is effectively a fraction of the circumference. So if we can find the circumference, we can go from there. The circumference of a full circle can be found using two pi r or pi d, use whichever one suits your needs best. In this case, we've got the radius, so we're gonna use the two pi r. If you've got the diameter, use pi d. And then we have a fraction of this. Um, so we have an angle and we know that the total angle in a circle is 360. So we could do the angle x over 360 times by the full circumference, the distance all the way around the circle. So times by two pi r or times by pi d. Substituting in some values for this example, we get 118 because that's our angle over 360 times by two pi times by nine. Substituting in the values here gives us 18.54 to two decimal places. And remember, this is going to be a length. It's the arc length or just part of the circumference. So it's just centimeters, not centimeters squared or centimeters cubed or anything like that. If you found this video useful, why not try the topic exam on our learning platform? Here, you can answer a series of questions and get instant feedback, both in a written solution format. So I got this one wrong, so I can just double check how I've done it with the written solution. Or if I'm still unsure, I've got the video solution here that can talk me through it where an expert will solve the problem.